Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 12th Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at some button styles. <laughs> Alright, here we go then. So, I've uh, pre-written a load of code here and uh, it's all commented out at the minute except for this stuff right at the top which is just uh, an anchor tag, a button tag and an input field of type submit. So these are typically the elements you're going to use for things like buttons, things that your user is going to click on, right, on your website. Now, this is how Bootstrap styles them by default, and it is a little bit different from default browser styles. It looks a little neater, and I can demonstrate that by getting rid of this style sheet right here. So I'll delete that, and you can see it reverts back to default browser styles over here. Not quite as nice, in fact, pretty ugly. So let's delete that, or rather put it back in, okay? But we can also add some additional classes to our button elements to make them look better. All right, so let's uncomment this little chunk of code right here. And uh, the basic style or the basic class that we need to apply to any kind of button if we want to use bootstrap styles is the BTN class. And this is kind of like a global class uh, that gives you styles like uh, the padding on the button, the border radius. You can see it's got a little curve at the corner. Um, the central aligning of the text, that kind of thing, right? So that's like a global class. And then what we also need to do is add a contextual class which controls the uh, the look of the button even more. So things like the color, okay? Or the border or the hover color. So at the minute, I'm using BTN default and that looks pretty much like this right here. Now you'll notice if I take away the BTN default class, see the anchor tag, it looks not much different from this one here, but you can still see that it's getting that padding around the element. And if we hover over the element, you can also see it's getting that border radius as well. So like I say, this here is the global kind of class which applies those styles. And then we add the uh, contextual class to give it the color. All right, so let's put that back in. That is the default contextual class. So all the contextual classes are pretty much BTN hyphen something. So this is default and down here, we have got the other ones. So what have we got? We've got button default that we've already seen here, okay? Then we've got primary, which is blue. Then info, lighter blue. Warning, yellow, danger red, and success, which is green. Now, this is better than writing, for example, button you know, blue or button red, because it actually means something in the, uh, in the HTML. It's more semantic, okay? It's got meaning to it, so if, something's going to be, you know, a warning, then button warning is more semantic than button red, yeah? And the idea is that if you download different themes or you make your own bootstrap theme, then you can color these different classes differently. So in one theme, the danger button might be red. In another theme, the danger button, by, uh, button might be purple, all right? So you do have a lot of flexibility when it comes to theming and whatnot, but they are the contextual classes we use. All right then, so... We've also got size classes we can use, so I'll get rid of that comment right there. And you can see here we've got an extra small one, small one, and a large one. And uh, let me just make this a little bit bigger over here so you can see it all. So the uh, the extra small one just has an extra class of btn-xs, that stands for extra small. Small one is btn-sm, large one is btn-lg. And that is what they look like in the browser. All right, now if you just watch this small one for a second, if I take away this class right here, then it gets a little bit bigger, it reverts to the default size, which is like a medium size if you like. So you only add a class for extra small, small and large, nothing for medium. Okay, so let's put that back in. And uh, one more thing I wanna show you is this thing right at the bottom. These are the active and disabled classes. So let's make this a little bigger as well. Now. If you've got a button which is currently being pressed down, um, like if you're clicking and holding, then you'd use the active class to style that. You see like that, it's got a little inner shadow. So it looks like someone is pressing down on it. The disabled class, if you don't want a user to click a button, then it looks something like that. That's pretty cool, right? And uh, we can use them with the other kind of um, contextual styles as well. So we've got default here and primary. They all look a little bit different. All right, now we can do it as well with the other tags. So for example, button, but we can do this one slightly different. So with button, we could say class equals BTN, then BTN default, 
And then instead of giving it a disabled or an active class, what I can do is say disabled equals disabled, all right? And uh, that will also have the effect, if I put some text in here, say button. Now, if you look over here, that's got the same style as this, but if I hover over this, nothing happens. If I hover over the button, this happens, which is pretty cool, right? Okay, so they are your button classes in a nutshell, guys. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.